All right, the map is Castle, and these are the bonuses, 5, 2, 4, 3, 2, and 3. And we are the purple player last in the turn order. And this blizzard doesn't do much, but this blizzard makes it into a 1-2 point hold for this plus 2 inner district. And also, no, you still gotta hold this to protect against there. Although if you hold this right here, it becomes a 1-2 point hold for Central Plaza that also blocks military dis uh, military division. Red player's going over here, green's about to have a bad day. The white player's got 10 over there. I'm purple, I've got five right here. Good luck getting that out of there. Let's see, I moves that away. Red signaling very clearly they want this, although they're actually stronger for this. I would have gone for this. I favor this side of the map a lot of times. It's nice. Um, where, where do I have? I am purple. I have five here, five here. I'm very strong for Central Plaza. If green ever moves that six out of here, we can just go ahead and go from a one, two, three point hold down to a one, two point hold that blocks this from anybody. Get that plus three for us. This five over here is in a bad way. This guy's splitting evenly over here, so he is going for this, but he tacked over here. Didn't you stack over here? Why'd you stack somewhere you're not going for? Alright, so we can get a fairly easy card right here. I could just grab my bonus first turn and probably get away with it. Ooh, unlucky that green slaps my five out of there. Green wants this. If I'm lucky, they fortify this six over to there. I mean, that five, I probably... And they got great dice hitting it, too. Alright, so... and they're Oh, they're just making enemies out of everybody. Okay. They're making enemies out of everybody. They just want to tag out some more. What's your plan here? Don't fortify that. Th okay, so they do want this area. They still want to fortify this. I'm trying to give red. Oh, they're trying to give red a path out of here. They hit my five because they want to make sure I'm not stacking here for whatever reason. Because they they want this bonus. They want this one, two, three, four point hold, or a one, two, three point hold, or a one, two, three point hold for the plus five. Not worth it. Losing five troops turn one is rough, but to be fair, that five was probably not going to do much for us. Yeah, you're just clearing... You're just doing all the work for the, the white player here. All right. Uh, four for the blue player. This... I mean, blue wants this. I, I'd love for them to give me a turn to move this there and get out of its way, but I don't think it's going to happen. Small maps like this with lots of territories, it's very common to lose five troops uh, before you're on your first round, first turn. Sometimes more. Yep, there goes that. Losing five, no, no, ten troops. I've lost ten troops before I've even taken my turn. But we're still very strong over here, so it's fine. Those ten troops wouldn't have done much for us unless blue, like, I mean, there's just no way to get that five easily over to here. Just this here and this here, unless green moved all this out of the way and blue moved all this out of the way. Just, we weren't going to get those back to us in any easy way, shape, or form. So what we want to do is have a one, two point hold and we can card trade inside of this bonus up here. It's going to be our best spot here, our best play. All right, so uh, I don't think Red's going to want to fight us over here. I'm going to uh, click the button properly, be good. Hit this. We hit this over here. Uh, and hopefully they're disinclined to break me over here. I'm more worried about the green six than the red four. Red's got their own problems. Green's shown us they're extremely aggressive, attacking a five stack right away. Um, the red hasn't shown any signs of aggression towards us at all, so get this and hopefully the red player, or the green player doesn't stack three and hit my six and then screw us both over and hope the red player doesn't stack three here and seven before hit me there. All right, so far so good. Red's kind of chilling, leaving us be. All right, they're just heading over there for a car. That's good. Looks like they don't want to go bad neighbor with me. They got their own problems with white having seven side their bonus, right? They don't need to start a war with me. Smart. And next turn, I stack, I should, I should have had like one stack a bit bigger to make it easier to get that. I can stack uh, three here, do a 10v6. I need to get, I need to get cards somewhere. If green's smart, they get out of my way. Oh, I don't think green's, uh, I shouldn't say they're not smart. They're just not thinking the same way I am. Their mind's on different things. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that works too. Yeah, great, great, great. And just don't fortify back. Don't you dare fortify back. Move it all over there. Do not fortify any over here. I think green wants this bonus. In which case, I'm going to anger green going here. I But the thing is, I cannot let anybody have this bonus, because I, or I can just go into red. My choices are anger green or anger red. That's it. Because I've been uh, green hitting me out of here, blue hitting me out of uh, here. Uh, my only option to get cards is here or here. That's it. So who do I anger? Um, who is in a stronger position to devastate me for angering them? Oh, hit, hit this over here. If I hit your four, there's a seven aimed at me. And a two. That seven becomes a ten aimed at me. Or I hit your five. You've got a four and a five. That five becomes an eight. You've got more over around the four or five around, but, ah, man. 
I don't have a lot of plays here, frankly. I don't have a lot of plays. I need to... I just... I'm all... Like, it's round, what, two, three? And I'm... Uh, it's it's round two, and I'm already pinned to position where I have to, like, break somebody's bonus or would-be bonus because I've just been forced out of the rest of the board. This blizzard right here is a problem. Um, because I could be card trading over here. All right, blue's going for another bonus. I'm just gonna get it. Uh, I mean... Hmm. If I'm gonna anger somebody... Anger the guy that slapped out my five stack on turn one for no re no reason at all. For no good reason at all. So I get six to have the bonus. Let's go ahead and... How about we just don't... With this. Losing six to their five. Agony! Agony. But now I have my two-point hold. Which is better than breaking you to maintain a three-point hold, right? Break you for card trade region. Three-point hold. You can try 10v9? We can do. You're thinking about it. And you get it. Good dice. You've got a plus three. Um, and so you got plus three bonus. I could have card skipped and waited and then fought the remnants of you. You only have 18, right? But I think we chill. It is progressive. We got to worry about that. Red's going to eventually have to card trade. Oh, eight v 11. Get bad dice. Get bad dice. Get bad dice. You don't hit me. Interesting. You hit blues five. Wild. I'm not sure green has much of a game plan. I feel like green might be a novice just based on how, like, they're just hitting people they got no business hitting. Unless they're playing, unless they, maybe they're playing as they want this bonus. If they wanted a card, they could hit here, they could have hit here. Hitting blues five, maybe forcing blue to have to, I mean, blue has no access to me. Maybe they want blue, maybe that, you know what? Maybe a strategic decision where if that forces blue to have to go into other people's bonuses to card trade. So, in a way, that kind of works, actually. Maybe their strategy is to, like, be befriend me by pushing blue out of there in a way that benefits me, and now blue's breaking red for... Oh, yep, there's the anger! There's the anger. I picked the right person to not to attack, because green just like, eh, whatever, I'll hit blue. Whereas red's like, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, if I was red, I wouldn't have done the emote. If you, get, if you show the angry emote after so many emotes, uh, after somebody breaks you, that just signals this guy's mad, he's gonna self-destruct me, I need to commit to fighting him. Whereas before, there's a chance they can try to like, de-escalate tensions or whatever. We're doing alright, though. Uh, blue's well in the lead, but, you know, we're... You know, actually, we're kinda close. I need to get a card somewhere. Hmm, thing is, do I work on green? Or, I mean, they could card trade and mess me up. Let's just, um... Stack over here. I could move this six out of here. And have them less of a threat to break me? No, let's just... Let's just chill. And... Although the fact that I, like, click the six and point at it at all is probably not doing me any favors, but let's just chill out a little bit. Maybe we can, like, car trade with them. They slapped my five, I slapped their six. Call it good. We can car trade here. I need somebody to car trade with, right? I mean, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I mean, a 16, even they get a car trade, and they car trade right away. A four plus three is seven gives them a 13. A 13 v 16 could break me and would devastate my match with the good, good luck. Hopefully they, they just don't do that. Hopefully no car trade on three for them. I don't know. Let's just chill for a bit. Um, Red's car trading over in White's area over there. White's patiently working for their bonus. You're stacking here. No car trading three. Good. You're just you're just looking to get uh, you're just looking to get some cards. You, you realize you, you know what's progressing with cards. Wait, why are you attacking more? I don't understand what you do and why you do it. Green, your your reactions just make no sense to me. It's it just like they have it's like they have no strategy all other than like it fun attack. I think that I think that might just be their strategy. It fun attack, I attack. I think that might be the extent of how they play. Which I can work that. Fortifying away from me, I like that, I like that. I had to get if I had to guess, green's probably a novice. Brand new to the game, not sure what to do, so they're just kinda like, eh, whatever, let's just do something, right? Blue seems like a bit of a threat. The white player's patience could be a bit scary. I guess you can push red out of there. If I were you, I just I mean actually no, you can kill guard red a little bit. No. You just want a card trade. You just, you're just looking for card trade spots, I guess. You're kill guarding green. Now that I realize you're kill guarding green, you're kill guarding both red and green from me, and you're kill guarding green from blue. Clever. Although you yourself have four cards. If I take you out, it's double. Um, it wouldn't be double card trade, but I'd get immediate card trade. Card trades aren't worth it. The white player is playing for kills, and it's going to work out great for him. The blue player is getting an extra. They're getting four turn. I'm getting three a turn. They're not that far ahead of me, frankly. And you're going over here. That's fine. You're trying to grab 12 territories, get an extra troop a turn. Honestly, we're doing okay here. I got a two-point hold. 
I've got a, I've got a bead on the red kill. I mean, do I take out red for cards right now? I mean, hmm, not sure it's worth, frankly. Not sure it's worth right now. I think we just kind of chill out on our hold right now. And red hopefully won't hit my four unless they have no choice. Um, what do we do here? I do this for safety, just because trust issues. Hit over here for a card, and then fortify back over to here. Just act like I'm protecting my little two-point hold, which I kind of am, but I'm also... I'm trying to keep a clean line for this 15 to go this way for the white kill, or, you know, part of it this way, part of it this way for the green kill. Um, also, it can go this way, and then this 10 can go here for the red kill, but I have to go... Once, if they get pushed out of there by blue or something. Hopefully red is not hitting my 10 there. Stack next, that might be a bit scary for them. Please don't. Oh, you're gonna try and get lucky for a card. Unlucky. Hit that 5 for a card. You got a 4v1 for a card over here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, that's fine. Yeah. I think red and green might just be desperately trying to, like, um, get themselves into a better, uh, like, just better placement, maybe? Or hopefully everybody's trying to play to win, right? Interesting match, though. Blue's in a slightly stronger position than I am, but I'm pretty good. The difference is they've got um, one, two, three, four, five point holds. So they're all split up. Their troops are all split up. I'm going to end up with two bigger kill stacks. So it, it should end up being a little bit easier for me to get kills. Maybe maybe this was Green's attempt at trying to kill guard red in case they get pushed out of here and they get pushed out of here, but they stay here and then Green can be like, aha, <laughs> get the kill. I'm not sure. There's a card train of four from Green. Luckily, they are holding no grudge against me for hitting their six stack. To be fair, they hit my five stack on the on my first turn, so maybe they're kind of like, yeah, I called even. And they, why? Why? They're going to feed the kill on red to, um, can white get the kill on red? My 15's in the way, so they can't do that. Uh, unless they card trade when I go through my 15. Um, I'm not sure they have enough to do that. I'm not sure card trades are big enough. Mm, blue blue with a car trade gets him even without a car trade maybe this seven no this this eight boom boom gets that probably yeah you know loses none hits this guaranteed on that put one troop here that's a guaranteed elimination right there and then the rest over here with a car trade boom 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 takes out uh then why would you do that why would you do that you've lost your kill guard on green that's not the play my friend well that's good because now uh, white's no longer kill guarding green. I'm not sure. All right, blue card trades. They should get the kill on red here. Um, unless they're going for the kill on white, because white has five cards. It's actually not a bad play for them. Red has five cards. Um, if somebody screws up and feeds me the kill on red, I'll take it. Uh, no, you're kill guarding red. No, you're feeding me the kill on red. Because how are you going to go through? I mean, with great, with perfect dice, you know, lose two on a five, you know, lose none, lose none, lose two on a five, hit this, this. They could get them. But you, uh, so, wait, wait, 3v1, uh, right here, duh, 3v1, just take the, oh, blue is, uh, is messing it up. So, all right, so you just giving us that elimination. Um, let's go ahead and do this, then, I guess. And we're going to go over here. I can get both this turn. Um, if I leave, that's probably enough over there. Go ahead and hit this, like so. Five cards. Do I want greens two cards? Do I want greens two cards? I mean, I've kind of got a sort of... i got a, a bit of a kill guard on them. Um, It's a double card trade for us, actually. is kind of huge. And... Do I go for white's five cards right now? I do, actually. I do go for white's five cards. I do go for white's five cards. I didn't think about that. I need great dice here. I also try and kill guard. Good dice. Fantastic dice. If I had really bad dice, I would have had to try like stuff for a kill guard for 5 11 over. Good game? Yeah, give them a good game. Well played. Yeah, them feeding me the red kill is a big mistake. I mean, greens play work. They're now two positions higher than they would have been. So that works out for them. And need this card trade here. Another double card trade they had five. That's insane. That's four card trades in a single turn. Um, let's just go do some damage on blue right now, I think would be... In our best interest, I think, would be very good to go ahead and devastate them a lot. And let's go through here. Let's go through here. Hit this. Let's go hit... Actually, how am I going to do this? Hmm. I think we... Let's go ahead and grab some more stuff here, because why not? Just damage them as much as I can right now. Um... Green has no... I could card block. No, it's not... Let's not free... Wait... 
Uh, you could get a card trade if you eliminate green. Let's not let that happen. Let's go ahead and devastate this. Uh, works out oh, well enough. Fortify this over to here. At this point, I'm less worried about people breaking my bonuses. Because I've got 23 territories and neither of them have a card trade. Which is why I played it out like that. You can go through break every bonus I have. At this point, green's kind of the homie. They, hit, they slapped my 5 over here, but aside from that... Kind of in the homie. I guess blue is kind of chill this too. I'm not sure who gets second or third, whatever. Just keep kind of get the win here. I mean, I mean, if they're not they're not even breaking me. Oh, you, green's definitely the homie. Let's try and give let's try, let's try and give green second place if we can. They've been actually pretty uh pretty helpful for us. I don't blame them for trying to break that. Honestly, I don't even know who to give uh, second or third place at this point. Who deserves it? Or who do you like better? I don't know. It's I'm not sure it really makes a huge difference. It's, it's one of those things where, like, some people be like, give it to green, because they never broke you here. Oh, he tried to break you here, never mind. Or, well, blue never attacked you either. He wasn't really in a position to, because he had no way to reach me without going through other players. So, I mean, it's hard to say, right? Hard to say. Let's just go ahead and just go for, just go for the win. Go for the win. Whichever lines up best. This four hits here. All right. We need to go get a win here, though. This seven's chilling. I could have had that get more value last turn, but be okay. I need to get a card here. I need to get elimination before. I need to. I don't. I don't have a card trade in three. Unfortunately, I have to get green first because I can't take out blue with uh, an eleven stack here. I don't think. I mean, a fourteen stack maybe. I don't know. I, I think we have to go for the. I need to. I need to get elimination on one to use their cards for card trade in somebody else. So. I kind of like green better, just because they, apart from hitting my one five side, they kind of left me alone all match. But uh, in order to wrap it up this turn, and to, you know, guarantee I don't screw up and lose the win somehow, I gotta take you out, get your three cards, give me the card trades, and use those to take out the blue player. Thank you. And some people would say, well, let, give blue player a second, because, you know, they played a more skilled game. You know, it's, it's, everybody has their own reasons for who they give, what position, and why. For the most part, I just kind of focus on how do I get the win before the 60 seconds just runs up. <laughs> That's kind of my overall strategy there is just get the win and don't screw it up. And thank you over there. Wait, wait, give them a uh, good game and well played and boom, another dusk. I've been having a really good win rate the last couple days, I'll tell you that. And there it is. You love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch too, like this one right here. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. There it is. Why well, was an expert? There it is. See ya.